right, hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got another match in the Kyber Cup for you. This is round one. That's not JV versus Diego. That is Masquatch versus Diego. We'll get that changed right now. Can you tell we woke up really early to get some of these matches in? Somehow, we ended up with IG versus IG in the first round. I can't remember if there are other IG lists in the uh, in the Kyber Cup. I'm going to say no. Masquatch and Diego, unlucky enough to meet each other this early. Smikey says, betting? Oh, wow. I had so much time to prepare for this. There it is. All right. Bets are up. The match is going... Let's talk about these lists. Masquatch brought A, C, and D. So we've got the boost into the evade from C. <laughs> the calculate sharing of A and the potential hard turn sloops out of D. Um, brought auto blasters, although there's no double tapping. Uh, brought No, sorry, not auto blaster. He brought marksmanship. Show, so it can turn hits into crits in the Bullseye Arc. And then the IG-2000 title so they can share their abilities. On the other side, we've got Diego with B and C. Huh. So did not go with... I think B and A are the best, right? Let's, let's see if that's reflected in points. So, B is 63, A is 67. Oh, wow, B is less than C. So, C is the one that gives you the boost into evade, and B is cheaper than that. I guess because B doesn't do anything for you unless you bring cannon. So, it makes sense for him to be a little bit cheaper. Like he's saying, A is definitely the best. Like A and B, yeah, yeah. Uh, A definitely has the best synergies with other scum ships. Um, you can put, you know, IJ88D crew on like uh, Forlom or uh, L3 and start sharing those calculates. Rookie, how does that work? I actually don't even pay attention to that stuff. Uh, we're, we're playing Stream Captain in the background. Definitely not paying more attention to that than the actual game at hand. That's not happening. Forlom. Lom. Nom Lom. An interesting position for next round. Does not want to have to turn right, but maybe doesn't want to go over that gas pad. We'll see. Could get into a blocking position. Three forward out of C. Let's take a look at Diego's IGs. He's got marksmanship as well, but he's also brought auto blasters. So if he gets the double tap, he could be getting unblockable crits, depending on where he's at. Contraband cybernetics, fantastic on IGs if you can't bring advanced sensors. He's got bombs. And he's got loms. Num lum. Alright, banks in from Diego. 
Yes, that tells us that Masquatch has player one. Boost into an evade. Hopefully he's obstructed there. A, going to be passing around calculates. Do we have D crew on? Yeah, on Numlum. So he's got those double calculates. Could potentially share those with the rest of the class if he wants. Range 2 from Masquatch's C. Ooh, Diego using those nice dice rollers. Spins a calculate for 2. Diego, four dice through the gas cloud. I'm going to get a blank into an evade. Take nothing. Still has that evade token as well. Hopefully he dodged this A shot and will only need to stand up to D. Hit focus. Think about whether to spin that calculate. Doesn't sound like he's going to do it. Five dice range, three obstructed. One evade. That's all he needs. Shot there, shot there, so now we got D, range 1, into B. Uses marksmanship to get a crit. Thinking about whether he wants to spin those two calculates, and it does not seem... Likely. Yeah, one crit, two evades. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, Paul, we're still on the the search for uh, copyright-free music, so skipping around to different channels. For some reason, Jingle Bell Rock Remix came up, and I'm not averse to it. We're almost to half Christmas, right? All right, Diego, shooting back. Got a range two into D, and I think that's what you take because you can do your auto blaster as well. Here's a three dice attack with calculates. Doesn't need them. Hit hit crit. D, one evade. 
spins the calculate, takes one. And that attack hits, so it does not get the double tap. Range one attack, this time with just an evade, four dice. Marksmanship. Double crits. Doesn't even need marksmanship! Yeah, I think he should have shared some of those calculates. Uh, he doesn't have A, never mind. Three blanks! Oh! D. Takes two, shields down. Nomlum. Range three, two dice. Same for auto blasters as it is out the side. Two natty hits. Diego, calm down. I'm gonna try and move these dice rollers between matches. Hey, gets the two evades he needs. All right, back to dials. Whew. IJ88D loses three shields on Maskwatch's side. Diego takes nothing. He's going to... Okay. Hopefully those will stay on screen. I do like these little dice rollers, though. Uh, I've been against most dice rollers in the past. Either the dice aren't big enough, they don't scale up well, the uh, dice don't give you readouts when you roll over them, or they're just ugly. I like these. They keep things nice and contained. They give you the feeling of rolling. Yeah. Good so far. Cupcake says they're rigged. Okay. They give me the results I want. Apostasy says, how do you change the tint of the models? So it, it changes from model to model. Sometimes if you right click on a model and hit custom or uh, go to color tint like this, you can pick out a color for it but uh, sometimes it just changes the base, sometimes it changes the model. But that's the, um, the same way to change color on anything in the game. Works for dials as well, which is what you see over here. Keeper says, how can I save the color arc indicator on the side of the screen? So all you need to do to make those take a look at this. Um, you just take a regular arc indicator, go to custom, and remove the diffuse image. Then you can color it whatever you want by right clicking and going to color tint. So you just need to remove the texture and then it makes it a solid color. All right, dropping a bomb. I was wondering about that from B. I'm gonna drop a seismic. One of them has protons. That's this guy up here. And it looks like that should affect the gas cloud. Yeah, no problem. There is an advanced tutorial if anybody's interested. So 
So Nam Lum eats that gas cloud. He's just hoping someone will shoot him. Takes the strain. Oh, four forward from yellow. Looking right at this. Seismic might have gotten out of range. I think he did. Four forward from A. Maybe thinking about an evade versus calculates. Uh, you've got A in the list, right? So. Man. Mask watch hopping all over the place. Fast maneuver is going to boost, take and evade, thanks to D. I'm going to get these names correct at some point. Nope. Thanks to C. Yes. Ooh, a bump. From Diego's IG onto A. Lucky not to hit that rock as well. Three bank from B did not sloop. Goes for the boost. Uh, this guy's not taking the seismic, so nobody is. Maskwatch has initiative, so we'll check C's arc for sure. Uh, maybe he wants to go ahead and do this Nomlum shot first. Yep. Range one into Nomlum. Gets the gas cloud. Blank into an evade, plus the extra dice for obstruction. And hopefully, we're going to get a Dengar trigger here. Hit crit, no lock. Will Namlum have good luck? Oh, he's strained. Okay. So two, plus one, minus one. Does not have a calculate... So he's going to take one on the shield. Dengar. Uh, IG-88A could get rid of a calculate. He's got two. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, these double calculates real rude to Dengar. But maybe he helps set up better shots later. What the... What is that?
I, I think that was the range one nomlum into IG88A. Says we have five IGs on the board and no advanced sensors. Yeah, they wanted three ships, I guess. Contraband is close. Right? I think contraband is sort of the poor man's advanced sensors. It doesn't help you bump and still get actions, but it does help with your sloops and red maneuvers. Just play better, I guess. So Namlum loses a shield. Other than that, no real exchange there. Zero to zero still. 52 minutes left. Taco says, since when is IG at, or is Nam an IG? He's got IG 88D on board. says there's five IGs. Mike pushes his glasses up on his nose. Technically, there's six. Because of IG-88D. Mike never forgets a D. He's always got that D on the brain. made it over the gas cloud, still has some tough decisions to make. <laughs> Don't want to close my eyes. Don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss that D and I don't want to miss a D. Oh, Aerosmith. All right, here's a proton bomb from, which one is that, C? The only one with proton bombs. Two bank out of Nam Lum does not hit the rock, double calculate. Johnny says that didn't sound too great. Look, I'm, I'm holding back, all right? I got neighbors. Oh boy, what's happening? Something terrible. Something's colliding. turn out of A. Yeah, 3k. 
too hard. Bumps from D shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hard one boost out of blue. Red. Hard to boost into an evade. This could be another low damage turn as Diego tries to get his ships turned around. All right, range three, yellow into red, 3v4. Hit crit. Two evades, naturally does not have to spend his token. I think the only other shot we're going to have is A into Nam Lump, probably obstructed by this gas cloud again. All right, 46 minutes left. Still no points. We've got to see these IGs turn around. From Diego. I think A, did A not shoot? I almost wonder if he didn't shoot at Namlum because he didn't want to get Dengar. Oh, Dengar.
All right. Two bank left out of Nam Lum. Double calculate. D with a left turn one. C with a three bank. A with a three and a boost. Looking to spring a little trap here on Diego's IGs. I wonder if he slooped or K-turned or something. Yep, yep. One hard turn, bumps. It's probably gonna cause trouble. Ooh, no it does not for B. Double calcs. No IG 88A. In Diego's list, so not going to be able to spread the love. Let's see, I think, yeah, the arc is currently facing the correct direction for Nam Lum, so even if somebody doesn't shoot him, he will have shots. D gonna start us off range two into red who's got no tokens might see some points change this turn one hit that's not gonna do it spins a calculate he's only got one right now well he's already done the calculate exchange spins the calc for two, gonna make himself vulnerable to that double tap. Diego, three dice. Takes two. Not enough for a half, but it's a start. Does have another modded shot. Range one. One hit and an eyeball, man. Some unfortunate dice here for Maskwatch. He's got to calculate. He's not spending it. Okay. Oh, that was uh, yellow, range one into B. Okay. B took nothing. This guy didn't have any calculates. That's what happened. So now we get the range one shot. 
You hit crit, spins a calculate for hit hit crit into red. Three dice, no mods. Oh, and marksmanship for another crit. Woo! One evade. Two evades. Takes the crit on the shield. Very lucky. Not to go to hole there. Range two. Triple crit! What is happening? Two evades takes one on pink. That is D. And that's below the shields! Blinded pilot can't mod his shots. Except with force points, which don't exist. What's happening? Forgot to shuffle? Doesn't go through? Does he have... Okay. Loose stabilizer. Has to go straight or take a damage. So now the question is, with B, do you take this range one shot, or do you continue shooting into D? Uh, four dice, so it's going to be that range one shot. Three hits, plus, or one hit turns into a crit with marksmanship. Three dice with an evade. Blanks out. Oh. Takes hit crit. On C. Nom lum. Got to range two into A. One crit. That's enough. And that should be it for the round. On to the next one. Thirty-five minutes to go. Diego with thirty-three points punches through D uh, IJ eight D over here. Puts a loose stabilizer on him, and he's heading towards a rock with no advanced sensors. Ooh, rough. Still haven't uh, used cybernetics on Diego's side. Is this a round for slooping? 
we have a seismic on blue here. So could see this rock blow up. Could see a proton bomb here. Do have a nice traffic jam. The one bank left out of Namlum. Double calculate. Not dropping any bombs. Probably didn't want to risk injuring Namlum. Loop out of yellow. One bank out of D. Gonna take a damage from loose stabilizer. Down to three. Last one to go. Oh, we do have to perform an action. That's right. I mean, if they're slooping or K-turning, you probably want to evade. Yep. A bump on A. And boy, that is a range one auto blaster shot against an unmodded IG-88A from Numlum. And there's no calculates to pass. There's there's no hope for mods. One hard from red. This is the injured IG. Takes a evade. Contraband flipped on blue. Double calculate. All right, into red, range one, four unmodded dice versus three dice with a evade. I want to say calculate every single time. Oh, no, all eyeballs. There's some hits and crits. Two hits and a crit. Range one into C. Two evades, takes the crit. That's going through on the hole, and that's gonna be points on the board. 38 for Masquatch. Right? Nope, spins the evade token, that's right. Never mind. I take it back. I put that hole back. Here's a range one shot. Three hits. Going to be two and a crit, thanks to marksmanship. 
one evade, takes hit, crit. That will be half points on C. And we will see what the crit is. Fuel leak. Could be brutal. And a list with all these marksmanship. Bullseye arcs. Red. Range 1, 4 dice with marksmanship. Hit crit. Crit crit. This is C. Who has fuel leak. Oh no! That is dead! One crit sets off fuel leak for 2 damage. Then the other one goes through. No, that's... Sorry, I'm looking at... I'm looking at uh, the wrong IGs. Who to thunk it? Get back in there. Mask watches takes one, two, and the crit is fuel leak. Three natural hits into A, one evade, takes two, D's got a lot of damage. But wouldn't be in the auto blaster arc. I mean, he'd get three dice, two plus the bullseye. Man, this is the one you want. Four dice, double calculate versus three. Crits can't be blocked. No crits, three hits. One evade takes two on A, and that's half points. Diego up 101 to 38. Unfortunately for him, he spread that damage out, so is not able to take one of these ships off the board yet. Alright, back to dials. Always got to think about bombs. Uh, C is the one with proton bombs. I think everybody's going to hop over you or turn. Nomlum might just bump, hang out. Under 25, 38 to 101. IG88C for Diego, hanging on by a thread, has three hull left with a fuel leak. And plenty of marksmanship IGs who would love to punch a crit through.
to turn left? Maybe. Kind of heading away from the fight, I guess. I do have a one hard right. Probably doesn't complete. Eh. I mean, you're stressed. Hey, just what Apostasis wanted. Or, sorry, Shaco. I know who's talking. Takes a focus. Does not go for the calcs. Oh, he wanted to turn that arc around. Oh boy. Nope. 4k out of D. Takes a stress. 1-4 does not bump from C. We'll get some actions. bank in from A as well. I mean, it's not a bump, but I'm not really sure where he thinks Diego's going to be. I mean, I think here you just activate B first, take the bump, shoot into A some more. Double calculates. Finally uses the Contraband on C. That is the last one of the game. Oh, and he did take the bump from B. Alright. Pink. Could shoot into an undamaged B. That's what he's going to do. Did they share any of the calculates? Doesn't look like it. One crit. Takes it. One shield. Looks like yellow's only got one shot, and that's range three into Namlum. It's gonna take that shot. Two hits.
Bend the focus. Takes nothing. Gengar! C doesn't have any tokens, so we're gonna roll it. Nothing. Alright, Dengar, you'll get him next time. All eyeballs here with double calculates. Spins them both for two. We'll get a hit crit into C. Three dice with a calculate. One of eight spins the calculate, takes nothing. Yeah, it does not want to set off that fuel leak. He's got to think about who's got who you have in both arcs. C. It's down to four hole. Does not have a fuel leak anymore. Look, looks like that's what he fixed. Okay. That was his action. Yep, there's four dice. This is going to be into C. 4v3. Hit crit crit. Glad he doesn't have that fuel leak anymore. One of a takes two crits on C. Weapons failure. Direct hit. Down to one. Blue could finish that ship off. Range one. Four dice versus three. Can Masquatch get some luck here? No. Four hits, he's dead no matter what. Ooh, that's been pretty one-sided there. Um, all right, well, C is gone. 134 to 38. Diego in the lead. 15 minutes to go. Namlum. Knows he doesn't want to shoot into yellow anymore. Probably range to... Let's see, A or D. Three or... Does D have weapons failure too? No. I put that on the wrong ship. That's what happened. D has three left. Blanks out. All right, 14 minutes. Do we see any bombs coming? We got protons and seismics. No reason to drop a seismic. Stressed out, IG-88D. A doesn't have any good avenues for sloops. Might just hard one, hard two with green.
All right. Masquatch saying he's ready. Nomlum, three bank. Double calculate. Maybe looking to turn around soon. Does he want to activate first? Looks like a three sloop. I don't think that's fitting anywhere. Never mind. <laughs> I'm so wrong. Nicely done. Wait, who's the one giving out? You know what? I have been forgetting about D. D does have the ability to give you hard turns that are sloops. Have we seen that at all yet? Diego moves up for a bump. And a sloop from B. This is the healthy one. Green did it? Okay. Moves the calculate over with A. One hit and a focus has the calculate. Spins it for two. B. Looking for a, one natural evade. Keep a shield up. Gets two. You're right. A did use a turn template. Did a sloop turn template? I didn't know there was a... button for that. Hit crit. Range one into pink. Taking the crit. A direct hit. Down to one. And blue has a Shot right into that booty. Four dice. Marksmanship. Oh boy. Three crits. Two evades. He was so close. Takes a crit on pink. So Mikey says, why the reroll? I think Masquatch is just saying, hey, c can I roll that many hits as well? Yeah, that was Masquatch who rolled those attack dice. All right, pink is gone. Because, yeah, it definitely feels like these dice have been a very specific direction. Diego getting just the right amount of evades. <laughs> Masquatch getting just under.
All right, 166 to 38. Under eight minutes to go. Which one is left? This is the Sloopy Boy. Nope, this is A. This is the Calculate Sharing IG, and he's got nobody to share those calculates with. Rip. There's the one hard turn. Did drop a proton bomb from C. Goes for a boost to get away from that bomb. How much does green have left? Four. Okay. Namlum taking the long way around. Take a lock. What? Goes for an evade. Oh, they don't have lock. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. What's... Why wouldn't you go for a target lock? There's only one ship left. He's already moved. Oh, well. Back to dials. Five minutes. Boosted away from the bomb. Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a bank right plus a boost. So Namlum turns in, does not have the main primary arc facing. Doesn't look like he's going to get shot, so that's not going to turn. Does have auto blasters, but most likely out of range. A with a one hard turn. There's the lock. Maybe going to go for a boost. Paul says, is this the last game of round one to be played? No, there are two more. One will be at 4 p.m. today, which is in three hours. And then there's one more between Timo. Um, I know he was having computer problems. I reached out to him this morning, but haven't heard yet. He's in a different time zone. Four dice, range one, two hits. Has the lock. Turns one into a crit with marksmanship. I think this is the first lock spend of the game. It's probably the first turn that we saw locks. Uh, two hits and a crit. Three dice with an evade. Oh! Oh no! Diego, come on!
Uh, hit, hit, crit. Blank, blank, eyeball. Hole breach. Nothing from Nom Lum. Turret's facing the wrong way. Out of range for Auto Blasters. Diego apologizing in the chat. Too little, too late. The damage has already been done. Can't believe you rolled the way you did. Three straight on Namlum. Focus arc turn. Now has auto blaster out the front, turret out the side. Four K out of A. I just take an evade, yeah. Hard one out of B. Thirty four seconds left. Has range three shots. If he shoots at Nomlum, Nomlum's going to get to shoot back. Yeah, he's going to go into C, who's got three hull left. Still holding on to that fuel leak. Three dice unmodded. Nothing. is it gg diego takes it with some incredible dice rolls uh good positioning but definitely man that was one-sided thanks to uh mask watch for sticking in there till the end congratulations to diego that'll be it for this match until next time this is scott from hexiled gaming signing off